today is friday and i am getting ready because i need to shoot instagram campaign today I had a bit of a slow morning i woke up with the worst headache this morning i went to i've like had a headache every day this week and it, it was really bad i woke up with the same one but it seems to have gone now i haven't taken anything yeah i've got um a very nice chilled friday planned i'm really looking forward to a takeaway tonight <laughs> we have this indian near us which i actually think is like all over london so wait let me look it up and see where else they've got it because it is so good it's called rana so they've got a branch in Bow, Dalston, Old Kent Road and Walthamstow. But if you can get Rana delivered, I really recommend it. Their curries are so good and they do a really delicious prawn puri, which I am definitely fancying tonight. I am trying at the moment to get into TikTok, which are oh, some of you are probably going to roll your eyes at because... Um, well, I definitely feel too old for TikTok. I have got a little bit addicted to it over the past couple of days. Now, well, like, once you find what you enjoy on the, that platform, it does push similar content. So I'm going to be starting kind of like a day in my life, just at, like little short vlogs, TikTok style. So yeah, I will leave my TikTok down below. My username is Kate Snooks, and I'd love if you're on the platform to come and see if you like my videos on there. I need to go to the post office and pick something up because we missed a delivery yesterday. And um, I might also go to the my local coffee shop to do some work. I haven't worked in a cafe in a really long time and it might be nice to kind of get out of the house and have a change of scenery. You know you're getting old when you get excited about <laughs> thermal coats. Um, I was in London yesterday and it was so cold. It actually ended up snowing, which is like, yeah, madness. And I was out and I didn't have a, like a proper coat on. I just had a blazer and a jumper um, and I needed something warm to wear. So I popped into Uniqlo and got myself this it's called like one of their ultra light ultra light down jackets and i can't even express how light this is it really is light and compact and it has like a little bag in one of the pockets and like yeah it just fits down into a tiny size but because it's so light you can wear it underneath coats for an extra layer of like thermal wear or you can wear it on top of like i could wear this with my blazer underneath and my blazer on top and it still fit me and yeah i really like it um so i need to pop out to the post office now i think a friend has sent said something but i because i wasn't in i wasn't able to collect it so if they dropped off at the post office oh sorry maurice is <laughs> scratching his towel which i'm currently using as a tripod yeah i'm gonna go pick this up now okay i made a pit stop on the way to the post office to like i literally went in three different shops to try and get my hands on these these oh my god every year every easter these little guys i had a massive craving for them last night and then came on my period this morning <laughs> that's why but yeah i got those and also got these guys these guys are great too and Hot cross buns for the weekend. Um, so my friend sent a parcel. I have no idea what's in it, but I'm gonna open it now. It's from a company called Bookflock. Oh my god. Wow, this is so nice. Even the box is lovely. Oh, oh, that is so cute. Oh my god. Look, it's like a little care package. So we've got a little red wine a premium eye mask love the sound of that botanical facial steam and some little chocolates this is so lovely just gonna make myself a water drop because i haven't drunk enough water today and um edit some pictures that i took this morning for a job um my favorite one of these at the moment i think is the glow one which has mango cactus fruit and artichoke which sounds bizarre artichoke but it's actually really nice yeah like i'm gonna need to start drinking loads of water now because the wedding isn't far away and water like is guaranteed to make my skin nice i have just received the cutest press package to celebrate the release of ariana grande's new fragrance thank you next 2.0 um i just had a spritz and it's so nice it's like to me it smells like oh my god it's so it re is really nostalgic for me and it reminds me of being like a teenager which some might say is a bad thing but i 
love it. It's like a blackberry sherbet kind of fragrance to me. But wait, let me see what the actual notes are. The fragrance, unapologetic, playful, optimistic. Juicy apple, strawberry cream, mouth-watering pomegranate. And then whipped marshmallow, musk and sandalwood. Um, so yeah, just very sweet, fruity, playful fragrance. I really like it. They've also sent some other treats. Tins, some little slippers. I don't know what this is, like a, a little wine. Wine cup to go. That's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, and the bottle's kind of cute as well. Today, um, G and I are going for our final meeting at our wedding venue. Very exciting. Oh, do you reckon we should take a laptop? Okay, I've got all the notes on my phone, but we've got like a big contracty thing to go through. Um, just like loads of logistics for the day. So we're gonna head there, and then I need to tell you about what we're doing this evening because it's gonna be mad, madness. We just had our run through meeting, and now we've come to Liverpool Street to pick up some lunch from Italy. I got um, truffle, truffle sausage and cheese, anchovy and like a burrata, and then a mushroom and ham. How good does that look? Right, I am putting my shoes on because we're home now, by the way. I've got my hair, it's wild, I need to wash it. Uh, we need to spend some time with our next door neighbour's little doggy. So I'm going to take him for a walk. Um, I think she's away or out today. Um, so I said I'd pop in and give him some love. Um, and then we're going to come back and have a nap. <laughs> because tonight we're doing this thing called the Bloodshot Supper Club. Basically, Bloodshot Supper Club has been going on for a few years before COVID started, and it was basically developed by this chef guy, I think, for people in the hos hospitality industry, because on a Saturday night when they'd finished working, like chefs and bartenders, there was nowhere left open for them all to go and hang out and have fun. So he created this night, this guy called Robin created this night called Bloodshot Supper Club. And it starts at midnight and it ends at four in the morning. <laughs> five in the morning and it is where loads of creatives and um hospitality people come together they have like a three course meal with like drink pairings and cocktails and like entertainment and it's it sounds wild like entertainment and just sounds very raucous and they've opened it up to the public so i think they're going to be doing it once a month or once a quarter i'm not too sure yet but we read about it we read a review about it and we decided to get tickets with some of our friends so that is what we're doing tonight we're going out at midnight <laughs> till five in the morning i don't think i've ever done that in my entire life being a young teenager in london i didn't even do that so i don't know how i'm gonna last but um, G's booked us cocktails at 10 o'clock in Bermondsey Street and then we're going to be heading along to the supper club. So I'm really excited to see what the food is. The menu isn't like launched or released until the night so we have no idea what we'll be eating or drinking but um, yeah it should be a very fun night. yesterday because I was so hungover from Saturday night like I stopped drinking at the like starter starter level and still managed to get somehow so drunk <laughs> hi Maurice Maurice. <laughs> Maurice yeah yesterday was a bit of a write-off but um today's Monday I've just been doing some um, video editing, some TikTok editing, posted my weekend roundup. Now I've got therapy. This evening, I am going to a screening of the new Fantastic Beasts film, which is so exciting. So I'll take you along to that with me. I think it's in Leicester Square this time. And yeah, this week is gonna be 
busy i've got my hair trial for my wedding tomorrow which i will bring you along to too um i feel bad because this vlog has just been a bit skew with so far but um but over the next four weeks i guess things are just going to be a bit chaotic around here put on a little bit of red lippy why not it's from charlotte tilbury and it is called scarlet bell i've like just patted it in quite um like roughly it's not proper full on Look at Maurice's new favourite spot to sleep, it's so cute. Right by the balcony so he can watch, oh he's dreaming, so he can watch some um, pigeons whilst he sleeps. Hi, oh you're so gorgeous, you're so gorgeous. I'm in the mood today to wear something other than trainers <laughs> on my feet. So I've got two Pezza Doc Martins on and just for future reference, I'd like to know what you think looks best. So I've got either my Brogues, these ones, I absolutely love them. Ignore them, these tights. They're the fleece lined tights that look like skin, but they're actually just fleeced. Um, I need them because it's so cold out at the moment. And um, yeah, I love these. Or my Sinclairs, which are, yeah, just a little bit more chunky. They give me more height but potentially not as smart. Um, I think today I might go for the brogues just because I want to really break them in. I've got on this black t-shirt, a little leather skirt that I've had from H&M for so long now, and this checked blazer that I got in a charity st shop um, also a very long time ago. I met you in Chinatown and we've come for dinner at a restaurant called Cafe PPP. Dirty. I am off to uh wait, where are my trainers? I haven't actually seen my trainers in a while. Um I'm off to my wedding hair trial, which is so exciting. Um I've been looking at Instagram in my saved folders to see like to screen grab some of the um ideas that I have for my wedding hair, but I don't see why I shouldn't show you what I'm gonna look like because I am gonna look like that for the rest of the day and I do want to vlog. <laughs> Fine, I can't actually find my trainers anywhere. Where are they? Oh, there they are. My appointment's at 10 and then I'm gonna come home. So I reckon I'll be home for like one or two, no, maybe two. And then on my list of things to do today is I wanna clean my trainers, which sounds so boring, but it's way overdue and I thought I would vlog it. <laughs> in case any of you guys need to clean your trainers too so in my bag i've got my veil and like accessories so that we can try them on what's going on with my blush and then we went to see fantastic beast last night the new one i really enjoyed it much more than the second g and i went to see the second fantastic beast quite early on in our relationship went to the cinema and I, neither of us were that impressed but this one was really good like it actually had me cracking up it was it was really funny in parts wasn't it the scorpions were an absolute high oh my god all the little beasts are just so cute just making myself a bagel for lunch um i had a little bit of a fringe trim at my appointment which is so good i feel so much more myself now <laughs> with a fringe like this um yeah i haven't i'm not going to show you the hairstyle i've decided but um i did film a couple of sneak peeks in there um and we took it all out i am going to have my hair curled on the day but the curls have dropped so definitely gonna have to find another way to do them on the actual day i'm thinking my Dyson is the best bex. My hair loves that in terms of keeping the curls in. But yeah, making some lunch. And I just thought I'd show you this. I don't think I've shown you this before. I was served like an ad on Facebook and Instagram, probably because I'm searching like invisible aligners all the time. I found this, which is like an ultrasonic device that cleans your aligners without you having to like scrub at them every time you take them out. And it's honestly made my life so much easier for the past month um it looks like this i'll leave a link to it down below it's from a band called dental pod and i just pop them in there i'll do it now pop the button on the side and then it like yeah it's a bit noisy but you can't even really tell it's doing it, it lasts five minutes um and that basically cleans my aligners you can also put like a, a flossing like a dental retainer tab in there to clean it even more but yeah, I've been loving that because it means I just spend way less time like scrubbing at my aligners. I have my lunch now. 
before I crack on with some work. Right, I'm gonna clean my trainers now. I'm gonna take the laces out and stick them in the washing machine in like, um, what do they say? Yeah, in a little bag. And um, I'm gonna try <clears throat> to scrub. I'm wondering if I should make my own kind of concoction or just try and use buy a cow which i've used before and is amazing um but yeah here's a little look at the before they are gross Easter gift packages just come through from Mozart chocolate which is if you haven't tried it like a spirit or a liqueur that you must see if you can get um I love the strawberry one it literally tastes like strawberry milkshake it is very dangerous yeah they're like creamy liqueurs but yeah I had this for the first time on I think it was Christmas day this last year and I couldn't believe how delicious it was. Um, they've also sent one of these gift sets, which I just think is the loveliest little gift for someone. Perfect for adding into hot chocolate too, if you're a hot chocolate fan. So on Instagram stories, I've been talking loads about trench coats and trying to find the perfect one for a petite frame. And when I was doing some research about this, by the way, loads of you wanted me to do like a, yeah, try on of petite trenches so you can kind of see the difference. But when I was doing my research, I came across a brand called Busby and Fox. And it's a, like a kind of small independent women owned business, which I love. And their, their um, ethos is all about helping women feel confident in their clothing choices, whether that's through, yeah, they have like an in-store styling service and also how-to videos on their website, which I just loved. So I got one of their trenches to try it on and I thought I'd show you it now. It comes beautifully wrapped like this. And I'm just so excited about this. Oh, love the colour okay so here it is love the color i think the fit is really nice um it is quite long on me so it, they're not like specifically petite but i think with some boots this would look awesome and um, the thing i really like about this is this little tie waist you can like pull it really tight and then because of that it like really clinches you in at the waist which i think is really flattering for petite frames because it kind of just like yeah cuts the body up a little bit more so i'll leave a link to this brand down below i love the pockets as well and the little color yeah i really like this this is a great contender i am gonna make g try this because it's so good oh you're gonna love this you're gonna be obsessed looks like this a bit like cowpaw. Yeah, it tastes like boozy cowpaw milkshake. It tastes like boozy milkshake. How nice is that? An actual milkshake, that would be so good. In a real one, yeah, in an actual milkshake, that would be amazing. Oh my god, I, I love that. I love that. I love it. I can't drink too much of it because it's got cream in it. Oh, and I'm trying, trying, yeah, I'm trying to avoid it at the moment because I don't want no more spots. 